Alrighty, I have a construction update for you guys today. This is going to be the most epic construction update to date on this project. So what you see before you is them completely rebuilding Thunder Run's exit and the direction it takes. I did not see a potential path for this exit to go that way, but lo and behold, here they go. As you look very closely, and I'm going to have a little rendering up on the screen in a second for you guys to show you exactly what's going on, they are redirecting the exit away from that new tunnel. That to me suggests that tunnel is permanent, um, and it is not just going to be used to get supplies into the mountain. Um, outside of that, maybe that could be wrong. The other side of that, the counter argument would be that they just need to redirect that exit for the time being. Um, but truthfully, I think that tunnel is permanent and the removing of the tiny toms and the, um, redirecting Thunder Run's exit proves that up on the screen right now is a little rendering of how they're going to redirect Thunder Run's exit. So pause the screen and take a photo. Um, that is what we know so far. So yeah, really exciting. That to me confirms that this new entry isn't what people were, some people were speculating a new entrance and exit for Thunder Run. That made ne absolutely no sense um, in the grand scheme of things. Over here, they are taking away the forms, which is really interesting. And I have further updates on those forms tomorrow in tomorrow's update, but they are stacking those forms to be taken away, which tells me they are not gonna be doing any form work in this third tunnel which is even more interesting because this actually disproves one thing that I had said about tunnel number two, which I'll go to detail in a sec because this is a really long video. There's a lot to cover. And with that being said, over at maintenance tunnel one, in quotations now, maintenance tunnel one, was I fooled? Was I completely fooled? Maintenance tunnel one is having its roof and sidewalls completely demolished. So it's only new tunnel structure left. So they completely redid this tunnel. I wanna talk about that because if this was just a maintenance tunnel, they wouldn't need to go through this amount of reinforcement and this amount of structural work to completely re-enhance that tunnel. They would have just needed to do some patchwork on some of the problem areas in that tunnel. So this does suggest, I'm going to use the word suggest because some people take my construction updates a little too, a little too literal um, and need to understand that I am a rumors and speculation channel until I use code words like official prediction. Um, and I have been very transparent about that. I know a lot of my Advent um, viewers can back that up. But what that suggests is that potentially could be a launch tunnel. Um, the park just released an article on CP24 today as well. Um, and they are they are not playing around. There is subtle teasing going on. Um, and I will say that I think we are overlooking Extreme Skyflyer. And Extreme Skyflyer needs to be a part of the equation again. Um, even though, like I've said, it really doesn't make sense space-wise. But again, we don't know if we're looking at two separate construction projects taking place at the same time. And we need to... Um, kind of reevaluate that and understand that this could be two separate construction projects. So we're going to just cover everything as we see it. And again, until you see, hear my code words, official prediction, or this is 100% to be true, um, please take everything I say with a grain of salt. I say that in every video and my viewers can back that up. Um, with that being said, a lot of equipment being driven into the amount and a lot of ripped down mountain sections were being removed in yesterday's update, if you remember that. Um, so very interesting work going on. This telecarrier is um, bringing parts over to main, uh, tunnel number two. Now, tunnel number two is really interesting because of its design. And when that comes up on the screen, I'm going to describe it in detail of what I know so far. But as you can see here, a plumbing company is installing a drainage system in the center of that little divot down there. So I want you to take note of that. Over at maintenance tunnel number one, in quotations maintenance tunnel number one, I'm starting to think I should just call this the launch tunnel. Um, they are demolishing the entire structure. By the end of the day, you'll see it in today's update. Again, it's a really long video, but I promise you the footage is great. The new drone is droning. Um, but yeah, here they are removing the roof and then they remove the sidewalls as well. As well. Um, impressive that they did it in one day. Um, and I can tell you as of today, they were cleaning it out. So they're in a rush. 
I also want to talk about Extreme Skyfire's plot of land because I only have a really short clip of it, so I'm not going to have time to say everything I want to say, so I'll do it right now. But Extreme Skyflyer's plot of land appears to be getting rushed as well. And in the construction world of roller coasters and theme parks, we call that land prep. So it's showing significant signs of land prep, um, which is interesting and it is really difficult to ignore why that plot of land would be getting land prepped so early. Again, this ride, Extreme Skyflyer, was removed a whole season ahead of schedule. And when I say ahead of schedule, it didn't have significant plans to be removed. It was just a rumor. But the lease was expiring in 2024, the end of 2024. So... It's very interesting. The park did tease it was for an attraction that they weren't ready to talk about. And I want to talk to you about that because I did a lot of thinking. I know Canada's Wonderland really well. I know them really well. I know how they think. I know how they do things. And I'm telling you right now, Canada's Wonderland is not your typical park that just openly teases things before the park even opens for the season a year before. And I want to talk about Grace's video. So Grace's video talked about Extreme Skyflyer very loosely, very loosely. And they said that it is to make way for future attractions that they are not ready to talk about yet. That, to me, sounds like Wonderland. That sounds like the Wonderland I know. Um, and when they talked about the mountain construction, they were a little more transparent about it. And they talked about an early April kind of announcement about some of the construction going on. Now, that doesn't mean I don't think it has anything to do with the new coaster. I think a lot of this has ties to the new coaster. But I wanted to say and put this in your mind that what I know about Wonderland is this sounds a lot more like a re-enhancement project that the park is working on um, for Elpin. And the Extreme Sky Flower Pot of Land sounds very much like a future roller coaster um, that the park isn't ready to talk about. So again, that is pure speculation, but I am saying what I know about Wonderland and their verbiage, and that to me sounds very much like Wonderland's verbiage. But we'll find out in early April. Do I think they're going to make a complete announcement? No, I do not. Um, I think they're going to start teasing, if anything. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited because I think this is going to be our most exciting teased project yet. Um, but yeah. The odd thing is there is something we know about the mountain, my team and I, and anyone on my team and even their friends can vouch that we have a document that suggests a specific something about this mountain. Um, and it is really confusing what we know so far. So as you saw there, the tunnel was completely demolished, the old maintenance tunnel. Here, a new shipping container um, from United Rentals arrived along with a United Rentals rental of a telecarrier. These are typically used to carry large shipments. So as you see there, it would lift those things and track and supports into little storage areas. So if you saw my supports video today, that's its job to move kind of those um, shipments around, carry them onto the construction site. Um, as you can see here, Thunder Run's train is on the track. Its training is this weekend. Um, here is a really good shot of maintenance tunnel number one completely demolished. And again, this is, I think all of you can tell now, and some of you have been calling it from the beginning, this is an important part of the the, the, the construction project. This, um, I, I want you to pay attention to a very specific section. I'm really glad that this came up. So we have two... Um, footings there. I want you to tell. I want to explain this to you. Those cannot be coaster footings because they are not deep enough, and they are being held by loose gravel. So for a coaster footing, it would need to go about 12 feet down into the ground, and it could not be supported by loose gravel. So if anything, those are going to be lamp posts or an entry sign, like a a giant coaster sign. And everything we know about coaster construction could be turned upside down, and this is in fact the ride entrance area. Now, with that being said, it does have a look. It does have looks and similarities to lockout zones, but I'm telling you right now, there is no signs of footings going in here. With them dumping the gravel in there, there's zero signs of footings. So um, we'll pay attention to this area, but I do want to point out that they um, tampered the left and right side of this tunnel. So. Um, if you saw in the earlier footage, they tampered the left and right with soil and they're filling it in and they're building a drainage system. And that slanted gravel slants down towards that wall, which is weird if you're going to incorporate a staircase. It's a really weird design. So we're going to have to pay attention to this. Um, I would say keep 
the terms lockout zone and queue line in mind for this area. So some of you were very right in terms of that. Over at Extreme Skyflyer, they are almost completely done removing the footings and the work. Again, this is land prep. But yeah, that's everything I have for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. That was a really big one. That was 10 minutes of talking, but this was packed with a lot of information um, and some great shots for you guys to help start speculating what it is Wonderland's working on for their 2025 project. Comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. I'm going to try and respond to every single comment throughout the day and tomorrow um, with what you guys are commenting on today's video. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one. Bye.